Hey folks, welcome back to another Battling Brushes. It has been quite some time since we've been able to do one of these, but it seems like everything's getting back to normal, and so we should be able to be start pumping these out pretty quick. I know that we have got some Jack Fowler Memorial Fund auction winners that are chomping at the bit for their stuff, so we want to go ahead and make sure that we get those done as quickly as possible. So I want to thank you guys for being so patient with us. It has been a, a, a rough go for uh, Rob, so um, I know he appreciates all of your thoughts and prayers, so keep those coming. Uh, now, without further ado, we're going to be starting Blood Bowl from Games Workshop this, this week, and uh, that means that uh, I'm going to be t painting the orcs and Rob's going to be painting the humans. Today we're going to be taking care of, the, I'm going to be doing the black orc blocker and uh, Rob is going to be taking care of one of the human linemen. So uh, that's how it's going to go. Without further ado, let's get down to the table. So this is the guy we're going to be taking uh, a crack at right now from Blood Bowl, the Black Orc Blocker. And uh, he is one of the nastiest dudes in the game, at least in the base game, that is. We have basically primed him with a uh, flat black. Um, we're talking about orcs, so we got to go with the darkest color possible. Of course, as you saw from the picture there, there's a lot of uh, reds and greens and a little bit of white on his trousers. So uh, we're going to be taking care of all of that. So let's get down to it. So first things first, we're going to start with the uh, green flesh. Now, you can't really see a lot of the flesh from this vantage point, but if you turn it upside down, you see that his underarm here, there's a lot of flesh showing on the underarm where the armor actually isn't. I don't know if you can see that, if I'm giving a good angle or not, but um, there is a, a good bit of green flesh there, so we want to make sure that we get that first. Uh, just so that we can kind of also at the same time pick out all the places that are not going to be green flesh There's a little bit on the back of his neck back here, too So uh, the base coat for that is going to be wa flesh and uh, then we're going to uh, dry brush over that some war boss green uh, to give it a good shading effect, so Next we're going to go ahead and hit the armor, uh, and the armor is going to be this um, fist and red color as a base, and then we're going to hit it with a lighter color for highlights and stuff like that. But uh, let's go ahead and get that done too. And after we've got all of the red done all over, uh, we're going to come back and hit it with, uh, hit the model with some lead belcher for all of the different um, armor, uh, steel armor stuff that isn't painted red. And now that we've got all of that lead belcher on there, showing all of the truly uh, metal-y parts of the model, <clears throat> I went ahead and moved on to a little bit of a dry brush of an Urshan Gray on just the, the black primer to, because he's got kind of a black shirt underneath there, and his, his boots down here are also black with some brown leather attachments to it, which we'll cut in a little bit later. But uh, I thought that Urshan Gray would do enough to uh, just make that not a black, just a black t-shirt, but it's, you know, a little bit more than that. 
and uh, now we're going to move on to his trousers which are um, almost you know like a dirty white um, so we're going to be using some Ustabi bone and then we're going to put a uh, seraphim sepia shade over his trousers to just make them look real grungy and dirty so uh, let's get to it There's some leather here. It's holding on his knee pad, so we're going to give that a, a smack. And then over here is the same. And that is about it. We are finished with all the little details. Basically all I did was I took the lead belcher and hit all these little spiky bits that are all over his armor uh, because they probably would have been worn off. You know, the paint would have worn off and all that kind of stuff. But other than that, uh, he's pretty much ready to go except for the base. Now, of course, he doesn't have any numbers or stripes on him yet. And so we're going to do that at another time. Um, so we'll be we'll we'll hit it later on so we can show you how to do it but uh we're going to use those little water transfer decals that are a pain in the butt but if you take your time and you're patient it works out pretty good so that is it for the paint job for this black orc blocker uh let's see what rob's doing hey everybody welcome back to battle and brushes and of course thank you sam you're doing a great job as always what else is new um Sorry it took so long, but as you know, I've had some personal issues with my wife and I. I'd just like to apologize to those that have waited for the Blood Bowl and just know that we are on top of it now and we are getting to where uh, things will be a little bit easier around here and you'll see more of your old buddy here painting away like old times. But again, let's go take a look and see how you paint some of the blitzers for the humans. Okay, so I just kind of started just putting the blue on. I primed them white just to get them kind of started. We're going to fill in all the leather stuff, but the first thing that we really want to do is we want to get that dark wash in there to really bring all the detail of the white out. So we're going to do that first, and then we'll add in all the flesh tone, and we'll add in uh, some of the armor and the brown work. So we'll take a look once I'm done there. All right, so next we just put a dark wash over it, a nice new oil, which is kind of helping out doing exactly what I wanted to do, darken up certain areas so we can see the ropes. Now we'll just kind of fill in all the blanks with the flesh and the brown overtones as well as go over with some metallics. Okay, here we just, I, I just colored in the shoes. I went around the back to the belt, to the back of the straps there. Uh, now we're going to put in the lead belcher on on the armor aspects of it or the spikes and stuff like that and you'll see where this starts to come come out a little bit and starts to come together then uh, what we're going to do is as you can see I kind of outlined a little gold here but the thing is is that what we're going to do is we're really going to come strong with a, a, a good uh, um, retribution armor over that and really make that kind of start to come out um, the base don't worry about the base. The, the last episode of this, I'm going to show you how to do the real cool grass bases with the uh, football lines in them and all that stuff. So it, it'll look pretty good. So let's move on to our next step and just get that stuff done and we'll show you how it turns out. Okay, so here you can see that I, um, I put in the lead belcher all along. I went over the top of the, the face mask there. You can see the definition that I'm trying to pull out. I took a little bit of that lead belcher and kind of dry brushed it into the corners here to give that armor a little warf worn feel. Now, I left out a lot of the white lines that I'm going to put in. I, I put the line on the helmet there, but I left off the pads, and I didn't finish the pads because I'm going to show you how to decal these guys too, which is an interesting prospect that I think you would enjoy. And also, uh, and that's why we kind of didn't go all the way with the back here so you can see right now we got them right to where we need but uh, you know we'll do the base we'll show you how to do the bases and the decals 
when we finish these guys up. But next week, we're going to be doing some of the linemen, I believe. Uh, and um, the linemen and, uh, I believe, the quarterback. So I'll show you how to do that whole process. And, whoops, I'll show you how to do that whole process. And uh, what we'll do is we'll finish uh, this up for now. Why don't we just send it up top and get on out of here for now. Well, there you have it. That's how we, we've gotten it to a certain point. As you can see, I kind of showed you how to meld the, the, the colors together a little bit and how you build outwards. The wash really gets with that white primer and really does a nice job. So I was pretty happy with where we're at with that. But we've got some more to finish on that. But until we get the other guys painted, we can't go back and do all the guys because I like to show you how to do the bases and bring those out and how you make those decals stand out because they really enhance those figures and really bring them to life so without further ado why don't we send it to sam so he could take us out of there again thank you everyone for being patient and all your well wishes for the queen as uh we've struggled for the last couple of months with her illness but uh things are starting to get better we have our good days and our bad days but most of all we have you guys and that's what's most important so sam do me a favor get us on out of here and wrap up another battling brushes so again i want to thank rob for putting in the work here and uh for doing a great job as always and i want to say again publicly i guess you could say family always comes first so there's no need to apologize rob and i think everybody else out there feels the same way well thank you guys for joining us next week we're going to continue with another model uh from our each of our respective teams so uh thanks for joining us we'll see you guys on the flip side Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.